And you know what? You better make sure you're in bed before he gets to Northeast Ohio. Well, if you love rock and roll, and who doesn't, and Cleveland, and who doesn't, then you'll love a new book that collects stories from Cleveland's rock and roll glory days. We've got the author sitting right next to me, Carlo Wolf. Welcome to News Channel 5, Carlo. Nice to see you, Jack. The book that you wrote, uh, you said it's kind of a narrative history of rock and roll in Cleveland, but there's a, a ton of it to write about. How did you decide what to put in, what to leave out? Well, certain thing, themes emerged, certain concerts seemed super important, like the Beatles, Floyd, the right. Stones, the big British acts in the 60s. Yeah. And the cream rises to the top. Yeah, yeah. The you Beatles uh, were here, I, th I think, twice. twice uh, That's right. At uh, Public Hall and then at the then stadium. The stadium. I was, I was, I, I'm not just saying it. I didn't, I wasn't at Woodstock, but I was at the stadium. And when the crowd charged the, I was with my cousin, I was, uh, what, what was I, 11 years old at the time? Yeah, he, he panicked and we fled, you know. It was like, why did we leave there for crying out loud? But that was a historic time in rock and roll history or for the Cleveland history, is that right? It was an amazing time. Yeah, the 60s yeah. here sound very, very exciting. A lot of bands got going mm -hmm. here. And then the 70s and 80s that my book focuses on, too, were great, too. Right. Now, you go back to Wixie 1260. You right. go back to the Agora. There were hotbeds uh, where you could uh, go to and where you could listen for uh, rock and roll. And I know you've got a ton of pictures. We're going to see some of them right now. And that's Alan Freed. Alan Freed. Who uh, uh, supposedly coined the phrase rock and roll, right? Well, he's really associated with it. That was sort of circulating around anyhow. Right, but right. he... He was the Moon Dog, and he yeah. uh, did Moon Dog Coronation Ball. Yeah, he and Bill Randall were very big. The Beatles coming in a big Cadillac there. That's got to be 1964. 64. Right. That had to be uh, exciting. Uh, the whole world was crazy over them. Absolutely. Uh, Billy Bass. He he was legendary in uh, Cleveland radio. He's a legendary DJ from both Wixie and MMS. But this picture shows him in the store music grotto that he managed, explaining what psychedelic means to a customer. <laughs> he had explained explain it? Uh, it looks <laughs> like it. And there's uh, Bruce Springsteen and the uh, E Street uh, band playing. They, he visited Cleveland several times to play, oh, didn't he? He worked it like a politician. <laughs> he uh, turned himself into the boss here. Oh, yeah. Southside Johnny's, that was uh, the Agora. Uh, That's those, right. Those were places where you could go and watch live b bands that were really hot in the time. Every night of the week. Yeah, well, let me tell the about people at home. You can find Cleveland Rock and Roll Memories by Carlo Wolf at several local bookstores in Northeast Ohio. I just saw you at South Park doing a book signing. That's and right. also online at Amazon.com. If you want more information, we've got a link to Carlo's Publishers website, Gray and Company on Newsnet5.com. Thank you so much for coming. Jack, it was great. I Thank love you. rock and roll. We're going to check in with Jeff now for the Christmas forecast, or are we going to go to Angie? We're going to Angie. Yeah, we want to see what the... What